Hi, my name is Mike Hamilton, Director of Product Marketing for 21CT. In this screencast, I'll be walking you through the process to set up an email server in order to email and schedule analytics to run on a periodic basis. The first step is to navigate to the Linksion Analyst Studio Preferences pane. Along the left side, you'll notice an email category for configuration. The first step is to check the enable box, and then you can input your outgoing mail server settings. In this case, I'll be using linksion.demo at gmail.com as the email, uh, the demo email. At the bottom of the screen, you can actually test the configuration and verify that the email settings are set up properly. If everything works correctly, you'll see a green checkbox. The next step is to configure the scheduled analytics uh, message body that will be uh, the format that will be received in your inbox. Check the enable box, edit the subject if you desire, and in insert anything else into the body header you like. The results format can be included either in the email body or as a CSV attachment. I'll apply those settings and move on. From the analytic catalog, we can schedule our analytics directly by simply right-clicking each of the individual analytics that we're trying to configure and select the schedule option. We can edit the schedule name or the results template name and as well as the scheduling expression. In this case, I'm going to use the expression 0 slash 1, which means every one minute. I'll continue through the configuration to the date filtering. This allows you to actually narrow down the scope of the data that you're looking at. Rather than looking at the full data set, you can look at specific time slices within the data. On the third and final screen, you can actually send an email after the, anal after the scheduled analytic runs. Check the box and you can now insert the email address that you would like to send the email to once the analytic is completed. At this screen, you can also override the global configuration for the message settings, but in this case, I'll leave them to the defaults. Now we select Finish, and then we sit back and wait for our analytics to run and the results to show up in our inbox. At this point, in my email inbox, you can actually see the email results that I've scheduled. If I click on the email, you can actually see the CSV attached with the analytic name, the execution time and date, as well as the number of results associated with it. So now that I've scheduled the analytic, I will receive the email results every minute based on the schedule that I set. Thanks for joining this 21CT how-to screencast. I hope to see you back soon.